I do have to ask you about a different topic. Oh. Why is President Biden saying that his uncle Bozy was eaten by cannibals? So, you know, I, I, I answered this question yesterday. That answer again? Um, I believe I've seen some clips on your, on your network about me answering this question. What was the answer again? I don't have much to say uh, beyond what I said to some of your colleagues. What did you say? Uh, look, I was there. I think you traveled with us too to Pennsylvania. I'm not sure if you were there at the memorial. What does that have to do with anything? Uh, in, um, in Scranton, the president had a emotional and um, I think a symbolic moment. Just give me a straight answer. He had an opportunity as president uh, to honor his uncle's service in uniform. He had an opportunity uh, to be there as president uh, to, to, you know, to speak to the bravery of his uncle, and not just his uncle, but many U.S. service members that put their lives on the line on behalf of this country. So his uncle, who lost his life when the military aircraft he was on crashed in the Pacific after taking off near New Guinea, the, pres the president highlighted his uncle's story as he made the case for honoring our sacred commitment. Again with the lies. To equip those we, stand we send to war and take care of them and their families when they come home. We're getting off the subject. And as he iterated, the last thing American veterans are, or the last thing Americans are, should be called, are suckers and losers. And, uh, and that is, those types of words should not come from a commander in chief, as we have in the past. That's a lie. And we should actually be lifting up our American veterans and honoring them. And that's what you saw from this president. And I agree, Second Lieutenant Ambrose J. Finnegan was a war hero. But the Pentagon says, for unknown reasons, uh, the plane was forced to ditch in the ocean. Both engines failed at low al altitude. Why is President Biden saying he was shot down? There's no evidence of that. He lies. He lies. And why is he saying that his uncle was eaten by cannibals? That is a bad way to go. He lied. He lost his life. It's not, look. I, I'm not, we should not make jokes about it's this. Not, wait, wait, President wait. President Biden said no, that his no. uncle was eaten by cannibals. I mean, he's clearly mentally ill. Your, your last line, it's, it's for a laugh. It's for a, a, a funny, a funny statement. There was nothing funny about that. And he takes this very seriously. His uncle who served and protected this country lost his life serving. And that should matter. You have a president that lifts up our U.S. troops, our American veterans, every day, who thinks about them, who actually thinks they're all heroes, and they are. He's mentally ill. And you have a former president who disrespects that, who doesn't honor that. You're lying. Let's try again. <coughs> Said it as president, suckers or losers. No, he didn't. <laughs> That's where what did, he said. Where did the cannibalism but, come but, from? Uh, cannibals! Cannibals! The, I think you're missing the point. The point is you have a president that lifts up American veterans, who lifts up our U.S. service members. Foreign debt, homeless vets, AIDS, crack, burning debt. Yeah. And that's what matters. He understands how critical and how important it is to be commander-in-chief. I'm going to move on. Go ahead. Ridiculous.